Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. I have made several paneer curries and gravies earlier. I'll give you a couple of links in the description. Do check them out. Today adding to that list is another delicious paneer curry and we're going to make this super creamy and tasty paneer yakni. So let's get started and check it out. For the masala powder, I've taken five Kashmiri red chilies, one teaspoon whole peppercorns, one teaspoon fennel seeds, one teaspoon cumin seeds, a few cloves, a small piece of cinnamon, two cardamom and about one and a half tablespoons of coriander seeds. To the heated pan, add the ingredients. Roast the ingredients on medium high for just about a minute. You don't want to over roast the ingredients. Once it releases the nice aroma, just turn off the stove and transfer it to a plate. Once the ingredients have cooled down, transfer it to a mixer jar. Grind the ingredients to a nice fine powder. So you can see I'm not grinding it too fine. It's just a little bit coarse. So this is how we want it. Here we have this nice aromatic fresh masala powder. So you can use the required quantity for the gravy. And if you have anything remaining, you can just bottle it and use it for later. For the paneer yakni recipe, first I'm going to make a nice smooth and creamy paste. For this to the mixer jar, add about one cup of curd. Next, I'm adding about five cubes of fresh paneer. So I've totally I've taken about 400 grams of paneer and I've cut into pieces. So from that 400 grams, I've taken about five cubes. Next, I'm adding about 25 cashew nuts that have been soaked in water for about an hour. So I'm going to grind these ingredients nice and smooth. Wow, look at that, it's nice and creamy. So this is how we want it to be. So next, I'm going to roast a few ingredients. To the pan, add about two teaspoons of ghee. You can also use oil if you want. So like I said, I've taken totally 400 grams of paneer, for which I've taken about five cubes for the smooth creamy paste. And the remaining paneer pieces, I'm just roasting it here, keeping the flame on medium. Roast the paneer pieces on one side. Once they've turned to a lovely rich golden brown color, flip it to the other side. I'm just roasting on two sides. Wow, just look at the paneer pieces. They look so gorgeous. It's got this lovely rich color. Remove it from the pan and keep it aside. To the same pan, I'm adding the wedges of one large onion. Next, add the wedges of one small green capsicum and also add the wedges of one red capsicum. Roast the vegetables for just about two minutes. So you can see I've just roasted the vegetables slightly. You don't want it to be overcooked. Turn off the stove, remove the vegetables and keep it aside. To a nice wide pan or a kadai, I'm adding about two tablespoons of oil and about two tablespoons of ghee. Maintaining the one bay leaf and about half teaspoon of shahi jeera. If you don't have shahi jeera, you can just use the regular cumin. Now I'm adding the finely ground paste. Since I've used curd for this paste, you don't want this mixture to curdle. Maintaining the flame on low, cook this paste for at least about two to three minutes. After two to three minutes, I'm adding about half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix that in and continue to cook. Cook for another two to three minutes till the raw smell goes. I'm slightly increasing the flame to a medium at this point. After the raw smell has gone, next, I'm going to add the freshly ground masala powder. I'm just adding about one and a half teaspoons. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. Mix everything well. So this subtle flavors of this dish is going to come from that nice fresh masala. Next, I'm adding about one cup of water. And we're going to cook this masala for about five minutes. After five minutes, you can see the oil is beginning to separate. The masalas come together very nicely. At this point, I'm adding the roasted paneer and the vegetables. Just gently mix everything.
Close the pan and let this simmer for about 5 minutes on medium flame. So after 5 minutes you can see the oil has separated beautifully. All the pieces have just plumped up and they are so moist and tender. Finally, I'm adding some kasuri methi leaves. Just crush them, just add just a little bit. Gives a very nice flavor. Give that a quick mix, turn off the stove. Wow, paneer yakni looks absolutely delicious. You can see the paneer pieces are so soft and so juicy and the vegetables are so colourful and it's a very nice and subtle dish that you everybody will absolutely enjoy. Well, it's time to taste this rich and creamy paneer yakni. I can't wait actually. Very, very hungry. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Oh my god. This is so delicious. Incredibly tasty. I just love paneer and this dish was just incredibly tasty that I really really enjoyed. So you can see it's a very simple dish to make. So do give it a try and you can enjoy this with any roti or even with some nice subtle pulao's of your choice. So give it a try and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. You can now buy the second edition of our home cooking book at shop.homecookingshow.in.